Hello everyone, Tabletop Blacksmith here. I am excited to be back. It's been a little while since I've done a DM and player tips video and that is because it has taken me quite a bit of my time to try to get the videos from our stream up and running and edited so that they are audible and watchable now. I'm probably going to have to upgrade the computer because it's not able to handle uh, four hour long videos. So I am trying to get a system down where I can break it up and have it be easily editable in editable. In an amount of time that is manageable and that doesn't take me away from my family. So today I wanted to talk about resolving player conflict. Tabletop gaming is infamous when it comes to breaking up relationships and friendships. This is because we have so many different types of players, so many different types of backgrounds, so many different types of opinions. And when all of that comes together at the table, there are more opportunities for people to clash. Dungeon Masters, you have a great opportunity to understand how to read the table, how to read your players. Unless it is your first session, you should have kind of an idea of what types of personalities everyone has at the table. You have your power gamers, you have your role players, you have your rule lawyers. Uh, all of those are great to have at the table. They're great additions to the group, and they each have their own strengths and passions. Reading the group happens while you're at the table. If you're introducing a topic that could be sensitive in nature to people who are at the table. It's not hard to read the group when a conflict is taking place because someone will say something and another person will react negatively or angrily towards them. I think all of us can appreciate awkward social situations. Veronica Corningstone. This is your doctor. I have your pregnancy report here. And guess what? You you got knocked up. So you should probably get out of news. Who is this? This is Dr. Chim. Dr. Chim Richards. Richards? Ron, is this you? I'm a professional doctor. You saw me, you don't remember. <laughs> Wait. You should move. You should get out of the business. This is pathetic. Uh, you're pathetic. <laughs> What'd she say? She, I, don't, I think she bought it. Oh, she's looking this way. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. So when you get that vibe, that feeling that something at the table is going a little bit too close to home to some of the players or someone's acting a little bit aggressively, the next thing that you should do is have everyone take a break. Dungeons and Dragons, yeah, it's a, it's a game. It's something we're supposed to play socially, but if you are there and the mood is getting heated, just say, all right, everyone, we're gonna take a five minute break. Sometimes that's all it takes. It's just for everyone to sit back, cool down, and think about what they are feeling, why they are reacting that way. By taking a five minute break, or by taking a break in general, you can give everyone a chance to cool off some steam and to collect their thoughts. Me personally, I think it's important to have open and honest communication with all of your players. So don't ask questions that might sound passive aggressive. Ask things that are straightforward. What happened that made you react that way? Or why are you feeling this? If you can get down to the core issues of what is happening with the person, then you can address that as a group and at the table. Players, it's important to know the difference between your fun and everyone's fun. Everyone's group can have different goals and different play styles. In my group, we don't PvP, we don't player versus player, we don't fight each other, we don't steal from each other. There's a known alliance or non-aggression pact, at least for the players. We are more team oriented, so we want to achieve these goals together and come up with solutions creatively together. Now, there are times when a player might feel that they are getting the short end of the stick and they aren't getting the items or there's something that might be happening, but that's why it's important to have that open and honest communication. So if you are at a table where player versus player is encouraged and you're having fun with that, keep an eye on it. Make sure that you are going to be having fun as well as everyone else at the table. Play your character and remember that it's a group game. Everyone at this table might be there to achieve different goals, but we are all there to have fun together. So if your character is doing things that could inhibit or kill another person's player and they aren't okay with that, try to think of an alternative to outright killing someone else's player. And that's where when you have these conversations with your friends, the players that are at the table and the dungeon master, be willing to meet people halfway. Sure, your character might want to achieve a certain goal, but if that goal is in direct conflict with the party and the dungeon master isn't even aware that you're trying to act a certain way or achieve a certain goal, then try and bring it up with the group. Hey, 
I don't really want to do this, but I want to do this. Is there some way that we can achieve your mission and my mission at the same time? Of course, if you are working with your dungeon master to create some great conflict, maybe you are a lawful evil character playing in a party of good doers, that player's end goal might be eventually to betray the group. But if you work with the dungeon master, then he can help to create the scene where you have been working with these people for so many years, and then suddenly at the very end there's this dramatic moment where you reveal yourself as the betrayer of the group. There's a lot of different scenarios that will happen at the table, and it's important for us to remain open, honest, and to be willing to suck up our pride and play the game as a group game for everybody at the table. We always hope to not have any conflicts to have to resolve at the table, but it is inevitable, and it will occur as you play longer with a group of friends. Uh, eventually, there will be a type of cohesion that the group feels together as you learn each other's play styles and the weaknesses and strengths of everyone. I hope that if you do have any conflicts at the table, then you'll consider the tips and techniques that I have talked about today. If you like this video, please subscribe. I really appreciate everyone's feedback and comments. It has really helped me to become a better dungeon master as well as a better informant. So let's get out there and get gaming. And remember, gaming is life.